Yes. Um, before I start, I want to say um, we have not heard anything concerning Chris James' injury in terms of updates, trying to tell us that um, there is a chance for him to play against Aston Villa this coming Sunday. We have not heard anything about that. You understand? But maybe before Thursday game, we are going to hear about Riz James because definitely Mareska is going to say something about the Riz James injury in his press conference on Wednesday. So let us just keep our fingers crossed and wait for that update from the coach. You understand? Because he's the only one that will tell us in details about Riz James' injury, if he's serious or not. For me, I just pray it's nothing serious, but it's looking as if he's going to be serious. I don't want to be negative about that young man. Like I told you guys, he's one player I love and I respect so much. So I want him to be on his feet doing his thing for the club he loves and respects so much and also hope to be a legend one day in this club. Yes, um, there have been so much rumors flying up and down about striker that is being linked to Chelsea. Chelsea is linked to this particular striker. Chelsea is, is the front runner for this striker. Uh, this one, that one, which I want to talk about those strikers. We have um, we have Liam Della from Ipwich. Uh, Liam Della from Ipwich. We have um, Gayo Cress, which is currently trending right now which I'm going to read my source for you. Also, we have Alexander Isak. Alexander Isak. You remember that Chelsea also put up a surprise bid on Alexander Isak during the summer transfer last... Uh, during the summer transfer that we just came out from. And it did not work out because our eye was on Alexa. Our eye was also on Victor Simel. But we were more on Victor Simel than any other striker. You understand? But right now, uh, we have Gaio Kress and Liam Delap. And this Liam Delap is, is one player that Chelsea is monitoring. I will not say that the boy is, a, is that bad, but I will not say that he's up there. In terms of, let's say, we are looking for that profile we want up front. He's not up there. Yes. Uh, he's not that, the kind of profile we would define from striker. He never get them, but... With time, he go get them. I need the damn play the guy, but with time, he go get those characters, those charismas of a striker, those features. The way we define, but he's trying one way or the other. You understand? Because I went through his records when he was at play when he played at the championship. It was not that good compared to one of Victor Gayocres. Even in the Premier League so far right now, six goals. How many goals has Jackson scored so far? You understand? So, he's one player that is coming up and I will not say that Chelsea should rush into doing business, getting Liam Delap. I'm not done playing the player. No. And mind you, Joe Sheed is one guy, is one man that admire this Liam Delap. He's a fan to Liam Delap. And remember, Joe Sheed was the person that also recommended the likes of Kopama to Chelsea, that Chelsea should go and do the business of signing Kopama. You understand? But one thing for sure is that Everybody that Joshit is a fan to must not be like Opama. Every signing must not be like Pama. You understand? This time around, we need a striker that Jackson can learn from. As it stands now, if ja if Chelsea raise an alarm or come to, or I should come tomorrow and hear that Chelsea want to say Nicolas Jackson, I wouldn't be happy about it because right now Jackson is improving. The only thing Jackson needs is somebody that will be a serious competitor to him, that will make him see how things are being done, and which is Victor Gayocres or Victor Osimen. But why I'm not really talking much about Osimen's side is because of, in terms of Osimen, if we should sign Osimen alongside Victor, um, alongside uh, Nicholas Jackson, you know that the two of them, they are African players. And if any African competition should come, the two of them will be leaving. In terms of the African nations, imagine missing two strikers in one part, one full month. One full month, you don't have your two strikers. It's going to be disturbing. So at some point, I started thinking that, okay, fine. Since we have uh, Jackson that is coming up, then we need an European striker. Somebody that is not African. This we don't get one African. This make we bring in somebody that is different. So that in case nations come, come, come we will still know, say our strikers still there for us. 
You understand? We go see no sell our strike as they for us. So as for this Liam Delap from Ipwich, he should still he should prove me wrong this season. Yes. Making ball, making score goals, making do things. Because even when he play for championship, going by his record in championship is not really, really cool. Played almost 68 games in championship and scored 12 goals. So uh, uh scored 12 goals with two assists. So it's not really it's not really that encouraging, you understand. I know say sometimes it's not every time he goes score, but in terms of Victor Gayocres, he played 116 games in the champ- in championship and scored about 43 goals. That's for Coventry City. And now right now he has played, he has played about 69 games for, for Sporting, and he has scored about 67 goals with 19 assists. Currently, right now, he's 24 goals in 19 games with four assists. Guy, as he stands now, Gaio Crest is one of the best strikers in the world. According to the rumors that we are hearing right now, I'm reading this from Vince, and Vince got his report from Record Portugal. That is a Portugal pundit. He said that Chelsea are leading the race to sign Victor Gaio Crest and are prepared to agree a 90 million euros deal in January and, a, and loan him back to Sporting Lisbon for the rest of the season. Well, if this information that I'm hearing turns out to be true, it will be a very good deal for Chelsea. Just like the way we did in the case of Christopher Nkunku. I remember this was around this period we did that deal. Signed him around that January period. It's something million pounds from Arobi Leipzig. Still loaning back to Leipzig. After he was done with Leipzig, we brought him down to Stamford Bridge the following season. So... If this turns out to be true that Chelsea is preparing a bit of 90 million euros to get Victor Gayo Crest from Sporting this January and also loan him back to Sporting and bring him next season, it's not going to be a bad deal. It's not going to be a bad one because I, I, have, I have been saying it right from time that Gayo Crest is the real deal. I know that other clubs are pushing him for his signature. Thank God, Madrid never puts eyes seriously. Then get their own problem to solve. Baka, yes, I'm hearing that Baka want to do the business of signing Vitor Gaio Crest. I'm hearing that. Then also, Manchester, I don't know, I don't know about Manchester United, but my fear right now is Amorim because definitely if Amorim should make a request that Oga, Victor, have fun, I want me to come, uh, man, you can't rescue me from Zexi and hold on hand. Say, you know, understand what those two guys are given. Definitely out of. Now my yoga, this thing, you go come my you. You understand? Ask not to the put eye for anybody. To tell you how important and how good this guy is. But for me, I want Chelsea to apply pressure. All this one that we are just hearing is just surface talk, rumors, flying up and down. Flying up and down. Chelsea should be... See, if Chelsea wants to get a striker that will help... Jack, see, Jackson is improving, no, no doubt. I'm not disputing that fact. He's improving one way or the other. His scoring goes when he gets the chance. Look at the goal he scored against Leicester in our previous game. It was fantastic. It was clean. It was good. I, I, can't, I cannot imagine just Jackson of last year scoring that kind of goal. No, no, no. It won't happen. Jackson of last year, it won't happen. But we need somebody more like a... A, 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 a father figure, somebody that has been there, somebody that knows what it takes to be a striker. Remember what I told you guys? Jackson and Gayo Crest, they are similar in nature. But Gayo Crest have this strength, have this space, pace, and also is clinical, and also is always in the right place at the right time. So... Jackson who needs somebody that we put that we guide now also make him sit up. By the time see Gayo Crest, they come to us like he go sit up. That is why sometimes when I when I look at people like Madweke and I, I look at the Olise deal did not put through, I was not really happy because if Jose Olise been there Chelsea, definitely people like Madweke go sit up. Because Mares cannot go see Olise where they throw pass, where they give move, where they make the let issue where Olise if you get an injury. Then he go come bench only say for magic you know now. That is why we are that is why even till now, as net of the improve right now, that's why we see the term Mareska say, Mareska, any IB, drop this young man. We know really fancy in football. He need to enter our eye. He need to enter our eye. I'm not done playing magic, but he has 
get some things when they do we I need this get some things when they do and I need they when they sweet me. But when you go national team, go play football, you go see him, you go put, put, bring your head down, play very good football. But when it comes to Chelsea, no worry, nobody they bench me and I miss the I see the stats. Any yeah, we are playing, I my my rest go see play me. Do you understand? Because nobody is there to compete with him. Nobody is there that we I am not going to say nobody did that. Neto did that, but just that Neto now just of recent. So then Jackson needs that competition. I was thinking that Kunku will give Jackson that competition, but I don't know why um, Mareska is not giving Kunku that space. And also Nkunku is not a traditional nine. Like he's not a confirmed nine. If they like play at the back of the striker, if they like supports, you understand? He's not a natural nine. Unlike Gayokres, he's the natural. When they see nine, you don't see nine. Baba man, you don't man. That is what Amorin is missing right now after a draw with Ipwich. By the time he sees Zexi and Hulon, they move for all front. He said, God, my brain won't blow. Because there is no Victor Gayokres here. So Chelsea, if this information turns out to be true, that Chelsea wants to lay down the 90 million euros by the, uh, next year, January, just to secure the signature of Victor Gayocres so that he can come in next season, bam, is a good is a good one for me. As far as they, this guy go maintain his teeth, give us that move, say he go see deliver as every woman has seen a deliver for this club for us to you understand. So I guess um that would be all. Like as for Alexander Isaac, let's us what let us watch what will happen. Let's watch what will happen. How everything will play out. Definitely, definitely. Alexander Isaac is not a bad striker. It's not a good one. Sweden don't really produce so Ibrahimovic, Gayo Kress, Isaac. Isaac is not a bad one, but I know say the fee way there on top in head go make so many club run off, except Newcastle go drop their hand down. But for now, um, do it to like, share, subscribe, follow this page because on this channel, I will give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. My name is Peters.